and welcome to Now is the Time. I'm Mary Crowley. And we're on this new channel here in Southern California. It's so exciting here, the Cross TV. This is such a, a moment in history that the Cross is literally now reaching all across the Southern California area. I'm so glad that you're going to be able to see the three hours of programming every day that Dr. Joseph Nazarala and the Way TV Network here is going to be reaching out to you every week, every day. So stay tuned because we're going to have a variety of great guests, great programming, and you're going to see a great host of people that are going to come through here to encourage you and to give you a message of hope and encouragement to those of you in the LA region and all across the world. There's already 150 million people watching all around the world, and now we're coming to you live in the City of Angels in Orange County in the Inland Empire. Well, today I want to encourage you that we're at a time in history that we're going to see the greatest move of God that the world has ever seen. I'm going to share some stories with you about a move of God that happened in the Southern California area in the late 60s and the early 70s. It was called the Jesus People Movement. And there was one man named Lonnie Frisbee that was touched by God on a mountain outside of Palm Springs in 1967. Lonnie Frisbee was a 17-year-old hippie that would go up to this mountain called Takwitz, and he dropped LSD, and he was searching for God in, in all the wrong places. He was looking through Eastern mysticism. He was going to New Age. He was a UFO affiliate. He was doing all these things. But one day, he cried at the top of his lungs, God, if you're real, reveal yourself to me. And he had a vision of the Pacific Ocean, but instead of being filled with water, it was filled with people, and they were all in darkness. And the Lord Jesus appeared to Lonnie and said, I'm putting a light on you to reach lost people. Putting a light on you to reach lost people. And that's what God did. God anointed Lonnie Frisbee with this powerful ministry. He had this powerful anointing on him that people were touched everywhere he went. But at the same time, there was a man named Chuck Smith, who for 17 years had been ministering in this tiny little church called Calvary Chapel, which is in Costa Mesa, California. And Chuck Smith was actually thinking about quitting. How many of you today watching maybe have been called by God to do something? You've been doing something a long time, and you said, I don't know if I can do this anymore, God. I feel God's heart for you. I feel that the Spirit of the Lord right now is coming across the screen to you and said that he is going to give you the spirit of might and power, and that he's going to empower you to fulfill the dream that God has called you to do today. In fact, I hear him saying to you right now, have I called you to the point of birth and will I not deliver? The Lord said, this is the day of my visitation. This is the hour of my time that I'm going to once again come to the city of angels and to Orange County and pour out my spirit just like I did in the Jesus movement. But this is going to be a much greater move than the Jesus movement, the Lord said. This is going to be a move of the fathers by my spirit and I'm going to bring a wave to this area that is going to be greater than the Jesus movement where hundreds of thousands of people are going to come to know my son Jesus just like the Calvary Chapel and the Jesus movement with Lonnie Frisbee. That is a word from the Lord for you watching and I saw and I felt the spirit of power coming through the screen to you today. But let me tell you, that man Chuck Smith, 17 years, was thinking of quitting. And one day, him and his wife used to go down to Laguna Beach, and they would watch all these hippies lining the streets because the hippies would come down from Haight-Ashbury District, and they'd go down to Mexico, and they'd make their way into Laguna Beach. It was a very artsy community. There was a lot of hippies that would go there, and many of them were actually buying orange sunshine. You know, they would buy LSD at a place. You know, there was many people selling it, you know. And so one day, Chuck looked at all these hippies and he said, dirty hippies, why don't they take a bath? And the wife, his wife Kay said, Chuck, don't say that. We got to pray that God's going to reach these people, these kids, because our kids are about the same age. And that's exactly what happened. Chuck went home to his kids and he said, hey, if you ever see a hippie, I want to talk to him, bring one home. Well, in the meantime, Monty had a scholarship up to the Haight-Ashbury district in San Francisco. He goes out there and he's preaching on the street corners. Jesus is coming back. But only he, he was a UFO, you know, component. He said, Jesus is coming back in a spaceship. 
Well, there was a man named Ted Wise that opened up the first commune called the House of Acts in Nevada, California. And there was four Christian couples that they didn't see Jesus moving in the church. And so what happened was, is that they opened up this little Christian commune where they'd go into the Haight-Ashbury district and they started ministering to the people. Well, one day they saw Lonnie Frisbee preaching and they said, this guy is really anointed because people were coming to the Lord. They were seeing signs and wonders. People were getting healed, set free, saved. But they thought his doctrine is a little off. We need to teach him. And so they brought Lonnie into their commune and Lonnie Frisbee for a year was mentored by these men and one day, a year later, he said, God has called me to come down to Southern California and just to, to reconnect with some of the people down there. And Lonnie used to hitchhike. He would hitchhike, and when someone would pick him up, they'd say, well, where are you going? And he would say, I'm going to heaven. Where are you going? And he'd either lead them to the Lord, or they'd kick him out of his car and say, get out of here. But one day, Chuck Smith's daughter's boyfriend, John, saw Lonnie hitchhiking by the Orange County Fairgrounds and picked him up and brought him home to meet Chuck Smith. And the moment the door opened, there was such a camaraderie between the two men. Chuck said when he opened the door, he said, there he was, this little hippie with a flower in his hair, bells on the cuffs of his pants. The Lord said, and he said, hi, I'm Lonnie. And Chuck said there was such a camaraderie between the two that Lonnie and Connie eventually moved in with Chuck and Kay Smith. And before long, they were going into the highways and the byways, going into the beaches, telling people about Jesus. And Lonnie and Connie invited so many people to Calvary Chapel that within just a few short months, they had to move into a tent. And they started doing mass baptisms at Corona Del Mar at Pirate's Cove, where Time Magazine started covering it, and they started calling it the Jesus Movement. So within just a few months of Chuck Smith being disillusioned, being downcast, and wanting to quit. That's when the Lord literally blew up the Jesus movement. That's what God is going to do in our area, around the world, wherever nation you are is. God is getting ready to move in a powerful way. In fact, in 1996, I was down in San Diego, California, and the Lord spoke to me. I was getting ready to speak, and the Lord said to me, I want you to start ministering to the youth, Mary. And I said, well, I don't know. I, I used to minister to the youth all the time, but now I've got small children. What do I need to do? And the Lord had me get a, a small group of people together. And we started, as we prayed, God started to say, start putting together music and get a venue and start having a, a youth, a concert. And so I thought, okay, this sounds good. We got some music, we got some bands together, but we didn't know what to call it. And one day as I'm driving home, the Lord speaks to me, and he speaks to me, he speaks to you in your thoughts. He said to me, Mary, there's a greater move of God coming than the Jesus movement. And he said, I want you to call it Youth Wave. And the slogan is, be a part of the new wave. There's a new wave coming, people. There's a great wave of God's glory coming. And I don't believe it's going to be inside the church, even though God will use people in the church. I believe it's going to be in the highways and the byways. It's going to be in the streets. It's going to be in the beaches. It's going to be everywhere you go because you're going to be the one that's going to be the minister, just like Lonnie Frisbee went into the highways and the byways, and he brought them in, and many of them were delivered and saved. Well, so hearing God tell me to call it Youth Wave, the very first Youth Wave was in September 13 of 1996 at the Anaheim Vineyard, and there was 5,000 young people that came to that event, and we had 500 young people give their hearts to the Lord that night. And as, I, as they were coming, I just feel God's heart right now. There are some young people watching right now, and that the Lord is saying he is calling you. He has chosen you for this hour. God is saying that you are part of that new wave that's here. And you've been disillusioned with what you've seen in the church. You've been disillusioned with what you've seen in maybe your parents or other people that you know that say they're Christians. But the Lord said that he's your shepherd, that he's calling you in, he's calling you forth, and that it's his, your time now to come in. I hear one of you, your name is David. The Lord said he's called you David, just as he's called his servant David. He said you have the heart of David. Right now, David, he says all he wants you to do is reach out to the Lord. There's many people watching that are actually starting to weep 
across the screen around the world because you can feel the power of God. Even as I feel the power of God in my own heart weeping, there's a wave of God coming that the Lord is moving in your homes. He's moving in your heart. He's moving in your life. There's people that God is healing right now that he's reaching out even into the screen. I see the angels of the Lord that are coming into the screen into your very room that you're at. There's one woman that's living in an abusive relationship and that you're very distraught and you've cried out to the Lord. The Lord said he's bringing deliverance to you today and he's going to release you from what you're going through and he's going to bring you into a time of great wisdom and peace. This is the appointed hour. Ever since that youth wave that one day, the Lord had me do many youth waves all up and down the coast. We did one at San Diego State at the Open Air Theater. We did one, we did one in Oceanside at the, the Oceanside Amphitheater. We did one at Camp Pendleton right before they went to work called the Salute to Heroes. We did one in Compton where there was many you know, people that were in the inner city came that got delivered and set free. But something greater is coming. We're going to be doing another youth wave coming up. I don't know where, when, but it's going to come. It's happening very quick. There's going to be stadiums that are going to come together, stadiums full of people. But you know what? He has brought us to this time of delivery, and we're going to see his kingdom come. I want to read something that God had shared to me to share to you. It's in Joel chapter 2, verse 23. It says, Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And he says in verse 25, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts hath eaten, the cankerworm and the palmer worm, and my great army which I sent among you, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, for he hath dwelt wondrously with you, and my people will never be ashamed. How many of you watching today need to have a restoration miracle in your life? There's many of you that have to be restored. The wealth of the wicked, God said, he's going to give back to you. Everything that the enemy has stolen. I want to offer you today to become a partner with my ministry. I've been ministering for a long time, and I'm getting ready to branch out into many countries of the world. I'm going to be going to India in October. I'm going to be going to Seattle and different parts of Washington next week. And I need you to partner with me because we're getting ready to do some great things for the kingdom. I have a major motion picture that the Lord has called me to do about the Jesus movement and Lonnie Frisbee. I would like you to go to my website and partner with me. Maybe give a one-time donation of $100. Maybe give a donation of $1,000. I don't know whatever it is, but God will tell you. I feel that some of you watching are being told by the Lord to give a substantial gift today because you're partnering with us in this move of God in Southern California. Go to my website at www.marycrowley.com. You can go to my page. There's a donate page right on the website, and you can give a gift right now online. Or if you'd like to, you can go into my store I have a superstore on the back of my site, and it actually has my book called When God Speaks, One Woman's Journey of Faith, and he tells you how God called me. It tells you how the Lord delivered me from a life of drugs and partying, but supernaturally by the Spirit of God. God shows me and called me into the kingdom. And you know what? It was my parents. My parents, my mom and dad prayed. There's nothing more powerful than two parents that pray for their children. Some of you watching the program today, have children that are out there that you've been believing for a long time. And I hear the Lord speaking to you today that God said it's the appointed time for your children to come in. Even as when the Jesus movement came, there was so many children getting saved. They actually came home and the the parents said, where were you tonight? They said at church, the parents didn't believe them. And they actually brought their parents to church and got their parents saved. So it was actually the other way around. This is the appointed time. Nothing is too hard for God. We are now branching out into this area in Los Angeles, Orange County, the Inland Empire, all over the Southern California region. This is an appointed moment in time and in history. There's some of you watching that can partner with me. And you know what? We're at an hour that this network needs your help too. So go online to marycrowley.com and donate, make a one-time seed gift to my ministry or become a monthly partner. If some of you also have a testimony that you would like to share on my show, you can actually email me at marycrowley at gmail.com. 
I've done over 600 interviews around the world uh, over the last 10 years. I would like to interview you. You might have a story of faith or encouragement that you would like to have. Or some of you pastors in the area that would like me to come and speak at your church. I move in a prophetic anointing. and We've seen many people delivered and healed in miracles. We're now going into the streets with the supernatural power of God and seeing God radically transform people. But I hear that there's some of you that might also want to partner and maybe have a commercial on the show here that would like to advertise something that would might brand with my ministry. You can also email me at marycrowley at gmail and let me know that you would like to be a sponsor of the show. And we'll have my assistant get back to you. This is the power, that, the hour that God is going to move in his power. You know, I'm going to share the story with you. The founder of this network, Joseph Nazarala, you know, is from the Way TV network in Egypt. You know, he was a man that was a partier. He was in the discos and he was singing in the nightclubs and everything. And one day, one day one of his buddies that had been with him all the time, he didn't see him for quite a while, came back and started telling Joseph about Jesus. And Joseph would kind of look at him and kind of mock him and kind of say, oh, yeah, right, Jesus. Joseph was too much into the partying and the discos and all the things. But one day, just to appease his friend, he said, I will go. I will go with you to this house. His friend kept saying, come with me to this house. And so Joseph goes into this house, and they say, okay, just wait here. And he's sitting on the couch, and he hears them all in the other room praying for Joseph. And they're all crying out, praying and interceding for Joseph. And Joseph goes, I've got to get out of here. And all of a sudden, he tried to get up, but the Holy Spirit literally had him. He couldn't get up from the chair. He was glued by the Holy Spirit in the chair. And then I remember when Joseph told me this story, it actually brings tears to my eyes. He said he had an open-eyed vision of Jesus on the cross. And Jesus was looking down at him. And he said he, said he never saw such eyes of love of anybody looking at him. And he said, I was the one crucifying Jesus. I was at the foot of the cross and I crucified him. You know, we've all crucified Christ. We've all, Jesus went to the cross so that we could have life and have it in abundance. Well, what happened with Joseph? He immediately started crying out to the Lord. And when these people came into the room, they saw Joseph. God encountered Joseph. And Joseph accepted the Lord. And Joseph became, I believe, one of the most powerful men in this world that the world will ever see is Joseph Nazarala. Because what Joseph did, you know, he started serving in the army, started giving away Bibles. You know, he wasn't supposed to be doing it, but he did it secretly because he had such a heart for Jesus. And one day, somebody said, well, you signed the Bible. And they took it to, you know, the, the army person, and they literally arrested Joseph, threw him in prison, and literally started torturing him and electrocuting him and doing horrible things. And one day, they, were, they came into the cell. They came into his place and they had the mask on. They were going to behead him. They were going to behead him unless he denied Christ. But what Joseph did is he prayed to the Lord. He said, Lord, what do I do? I'm never going to deny you. And the Lord said, tell them that you have three questions that you want to ask. And so he said, okay, I will become the best Muslim you ever could imagine as long as you say the three questions I have that I want to ask you. And said, so they put the knife down. And so then they said, okay, Lord, what is the question? And he said, for a moment, he didn't hear the Lord answer. And he was starting to sweat. He started getting nervous. And the Lord finally said, ask them what three good things did Muhammad ever do? And so he said, okay, I have the questions. And he asked them that question. And they didn't know how to answer. And they put down the knife. And they walked out of the room. And Joseph was eventually saved. He was literally taken out of the pit. And he came to America several years ago and started the Way TV Network, which reaches into homes all over the world. The number two guy in ISIS recently came to know the Lord by watching the Way TV Network. The Way TV Network is a powerful network. I want you to know that the Cross TV, being in the Way TV Network in this Southern California area, is a big deal. So we want you to continue to watch between the hours of 3.30 and 6.30 every day. Now is the appointed time, Monday through Friday, every day, the Cross TV is going to be on in your demographic. And we're going to have great stories of hope, great stories of courage, and maybe even including some of your stories. Maybe even some of you watching 
have a story. But I believe right now that we're going to pray. I'm going to pray over you right now because I believe that God is reaching across the screen. It is going to bring healing and restoration. And he's bringing forth, uh, I feel that there's some businessmen that are watching right now. There's one businessman, I hear your name is Joe. And God is saying that you have a business, but you've gone through a financial struggle right now. But the Lord said within 30 days, there's going to be a great turnaround. He wants you to step out by faith, though, and to make a donation, a seed donation into the ministry. God said that God is getting ready to bless you in a greater dimension that you can ever imagine. But step out by faith. There's a woman that I see that you have a daughter that has run away from home, that you've been praying and crying out for her. The Lord is saying she's going to come back home by tomorrow, and you're going to hear a great testimony come out of her, her heart. The Lord is saying, believe my report. The Lord is telling you today that God has chosen all of you that are watching and listening, and he's got great stories of faith and courage that he's going to bring into you. But the Lord said, the enemy has tried to come against you. He's tried to come against you with a spirit of doubt and discouragement. Right now, the Lord said, many of you are depressed and oppressed by the enemy. But right now, the Lord said, I'm releasing the angels of the, the, angels of the Lord to go into your home and he's bringing a spirit of deliverance. Even as when he first came into the first city, when they first crossed into the promised land, it was Jericho that they had to come into. That was the oldest city in the world and the lowest city in the world. And the Lord gave Joshua very, gave him very specific directions to go around seven times and then shout. And those walls came down and God spared Rahab and her family because they believed in the prophets that came in. God said, will you believe the report of the Lord today? Will you believe the servants that are going to be on the cross network here? God is going to send some very powerful people to you on this network. But God is telling you to believe the servants of the Lord. This is the hour of his greatest visitations. What God did with Joseph, what God did with me, with Mary, what God did with Lonnie Frisbee, what God did with Chuck Smith, what God did with Greg Laurie, what God has done with so many, there's going to be a great move now, which is happening real even at this time. I've seen in the spirit that the Lord has hosts of angels all along the coastland of California, all along the coast, all the way from San Diego, all the way up. And right now, the spirit of the Lord is saying the angels of the Lord are being released into the atmosphere, and he wants you to believe his report and to stand on the word of God and trust in him with all of your heart. So let's pray. Believe with me right now for the miracle that you're looking for at this time. Lord, I thank you for all of those listening to me right now, not only in the Southern California region, but across the world, in Egypt, in Africa, in China, in New Zealand, in Australia, in Canada, all over the world. We thank you, Lord, that whatever it is that they need, we thank you, God, that we are standing upon your word that you said whenever two or more are in the midst of, that you have, that whenever two or more are gathered together and pray, that God said he will give you the desires of your heart. Right now, the Lord is sending the desires of your heart to you right now. I see a great financial release coming for such a time as this. So I only have a couple minutes left. Once again, if you were touched by this program today, I wish you would write me at marycrowley at gmail.com. You can also go to my Facebook page, and you can be become a friend on Facebook. My, my Facebook name is just Mary Crowley. Go to my Facebook page and like it. I really appreciate your support. Once again, because this is the very first show on the, on the Cross TV, come to the website, marycrowley.com, make a donation, or go to my bookstore, go to my website. I have a superstore that literally you can buy anything on the website, some of your famous Favorite authors, there's jewelry, there's a number of items on there with deeper shopping. You can go on there and be a blessing because you save 20, 25% by just going on my store. Bless you for watching Now is the Time. This is an incredible time to be alive because I believe that we're in the greatest hour the world has ever seen and it's at the brink of happening. It's starting right now. I believe August 1st, something incredible is getting ready to be released in the region all across the world. The number eight means new beginnings, and God is bringing new beginnings to you on this historic day on the Cross TV, being in the Southern California region. 
Thanks for watching. Now is the time. Thank you for coming and watching the Cross TV Network on this channel. We hope to see you every day, and I hope to see you next week, every Thursday at 5.30 in the Southern California region and around the world, whatever time zone you're in. Hope to see you next week, and thanks for watching.